हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू डी एडमी हम आशा करते हैं आप सभी का प्रिपरेशन बहुत जोर से चल रहे हैं एज यू नो देर आर वेरी फ्यू डेज लेफ्ट फॉर द प्रीलिम्स एग्जामिनेशन 2020 तो अब हम क्या करना है अब हम करना है रिवीजन और टेस्टिंग तो हमारी प्लान ऐसे होना चाहिए प्रिम्स के लिए वी रीड वी रीड वी रिवाइज एंड वी टेस्ट दिस शुड बी द मंत्रा This should be the mantra. It has to be like that. Read, revise, and test. Read, revise, and test. You have to, you have to go on like this. This is very important for you. Okay. This is how you have to go about. So what we are doing is we are helping you with this revision. हम क्या कर रहे हैं? हम इस revision series के वजह से we are trying to help you in the revision. So you will be, you can view the videos when you are free. you can just put it in your phones and just you know you can revise these things which already you have read so we are helping you in this aspect okay so yahan pe hum continue kar rahe hain hamare science and technology revision se in this lecture we will be covering fast tags after that hum dekhte hain pegasus ke bare mein we will talk about the head on generation technology we will talk about fuel cell electric vehicles we will talk about strand hog we will talk about the world's most efficient lithium sulfur battery developed by australia हम इन सब कुछ इन ऑल द टेक्नोलॉजीज के बारे में बात करते हैं तो चलिए शुरू करते हैं फर्स्ट फास्टैग्स फास्टैग्स आर इंप्लीमेंटेड फ्रॉम डिसम्बर वन द फास्टैग्स विल बी मैंडेटरी ऑन ऑल द टोल पेमेंट एंड हाईवेज सो व्हाट आर फास्ट टैक्स फास्ट टैक्स आर द फास्ट टैक्स आर द आइडेंटिफिकेशन टैक्स दैट आर देयर दैट विल बी देयर ऑन द व्हीकल्स वेयर a radio receiver radio receiver and transmitter will be there with the authorities where using those devices they will be able to identify the vehicle and they will be able to directly deduct the money from the customer's bank account okay so this is a technology where the identification of the vehicles and deduction deducting the money from their bank account will become very easy this fast tag uses a radio frequency identification technology RFID technology what is this RFID technology radio frequency identification technology where <coughs> low low you know the low frequency radio waves are used the radio waves are used where they will be transmitted and they will hit the target and they will be received back and when they are received back the the data which they will get which the authorities will get using that data they will deduct the money directly from the customer's bank account okay that is about the rfid radio frequency identification device so they are directly linked to the customer's bank account a fast tag is valid for 5 years and it is implemented by national payment corporation of india okay so you have to remember the fast tag uses rfid technology radio frequency identification technology a fast tag is valid for 5 years a fast tag the fast tags are the money in the fast tags are collected by npca the national payment corporation of india these three things are important next one Pegasus. Pegasus was in use. What is Pegasus? It is a spyware that works by sending an exploit link, and if the target user clicks the link, the malware or the code that allows the surveillance is installed on the user's phone. So Pegasus is basically a spyware. It's a type of malware. So what the Pegasus does is, unknowingly, un without the knowledge of the customers, the application will be installed and it will send the data of the users to the attacker directly. Okay, so it is a spyware. It is used for spying. The Pegasus is installed without the user's knowledge or permission. Once Pegasus is installed, the attacker has complete access to the target's user's phone. So it has complete access. Next is head-on generation technology. The head-on generation technology, it is now being implemented on on all the railways, on all the trains. Okay, so between 2018 and 19, around 436 trains have been converted into head-on generation technology. So, what is this head-on generation technology? Every train consists of engine, compartment, and pantry. Every train consists of all these three. So, what happens? Till now, you know this. This is an engine. so it will have this you know you can see this every engine will have such a such a type of thing where it will draw electricity the engine which is drawing electricity is used only is used only to run the train it is used only to run the train that is only for the engine of the train it is used but for the compartment and the pantry 
the electricity they will get from the diesel generators they will get electricity from diesel generators so till now we are using diesel generators to provide electricity to the trains till now we are doing that but from now on we will be using this technology the technology which we have you know the technology which we are using to supply electricity to run the train we, we are going to use that technology itself to power the train to hook to the hotel load okay so with this what will happen is we will be saving lot of money for the exchequer because the dc generators which are used it first it will cause pollution and also it is a costly affair okay so in this in the present this end on generation system the hotel load is provided with electricity from two large diesel generator sets normally from now on we are going to use this the railways is making making sure that they implement this technology as soon as possible in all the systems in all the trains next one fuel cell electric vehicles so supreme court last month directed the government to look into the feasibility of introducing electric vehicles which are based on the hydrogen cell technology to deal with the air pollution in the national capital region what is this hydrogen cell technology so hydrogen cell technology is that technology where the cell which is a few it is called a fuel cell it uses hydrogen and oxygen as fuel so the output will be h2o which is nothing but water so this is a very clean fuel which is a very clean fuel so there are a lot of advantages with this such with this type of fuel but it's a costly affair okay so supreme court has ordered the government to look into the feasibility of introducing such a type of vehicles such a type of electric vehicles okay because in these vehicles what will happen is that they will have a fuel cell and they will not have an ic engine an engine will not be there they will run you no know, they will run as an electric vehicle for that electric vehicle the fuel is supplied by the hydrogen fuel cell the fuel cell combines hydrogen and oxygen to generate an electric current water being the only by product so the by product will be only water so then they generate electricity through so this fuel cell will generate electricity through electrochemical process electrochemical process next one strandhog was in use strandhog is a malware so union home ministry has alerted the states about the vulnerability of the android so operating system to a bug called strandhog it is a malware which allows real time malware application to pose as genuine application and access user data of all kinds so this is a malware so what it will do is it will pose as a genuine application and access all the details of the user so it's a data you know all these spywares malwares the main intention is to is to you know, steal the data stealing the data is the primary object of these attackers okay so this is a standard is a malware next one world's most efficient lithium sulfur battery is developed by australia world world's most efficient lithium sulfur data lithium sulfur battery sorry lithium sulfur battery so researchers in australia of monash in australia they have managed to create a super capacity prototype by reengineering a lithium sulfur battery we already have lithium sulfur batteries which we use for various applications what is the what is the new thing in this new cell that was developed by australia the new thing is that generally in the lithium uh, sulfur batteries there is an intrinsic problem with the sulfur electrode the sulfur electrode will break after repeated charge cycles so lithium sulfur batteries these are nothing but the rechargeable batteries these are rechargeable batteries so after certain after a certain number of cycles the electrode the sulfur which is used as electrode it breaks it breaks so this is this is a drawback in this lithium sulfur batteries so researchers researchers of australia you know they have overcome this problem they gave this electrode which is sulfur this electrode which is sulfur some more space to expand and contract so when some more space is given this sulfur electrode it will not you know it will overcome its intrinsic problem that it had okay now let's revise what we have studied we have studied about fast tags fast tags are made mandatory from 2019 december so the fast tags uses the technology rfid radio frequency identification so in this the money will be deducted directly from the customer's bank account okay this is you know a fast tag is valid for 5 years this is implemented and the money is or the money is collected by npca national payment corporation of india the pegasus is a spyware you know there was a pegasus attack in the in the technology world 
Pegasus is spyware next to hydrogen generation technology. Indian Railways is trying to implement this hydrogen generation technology where the power will be supplied to the all the you know all the coaches. The power will be supplied all the coaches through the head-on electricity wires and not through the diesel generators. Stand next fuel electric cells, fuel electric cells. You know, Supreme Court has asked the center to look into the feasibility of using fuel electric cells, electric vehicles on the roads. Fuel cells, electric vehicles. Well, the fuel cell uses hydrogen and oxygen as fuel, and the output will be H2O, that is water. Next, Strandhog is a malware. It poses as a genuine applic software application, but when installed, what it will do is it will steal the user's data. Next, world's efficient, most efficient lithium sulfur battery was developed in Australia. Remember, it was developed in Australia. Okay, so that's it, friends, in this lecture. I'll see you again in the next lecture. Till then, keep studying and stay tuned. Jai Hind.